What? Yeah, we... uh, D2 currently. Um, D2. I D5. finished and peaked D1 last season, uh, but life happens. Right so, yeah. Uh, Sadness happens. Yeah, exactly. This game, this game is quite a, quite a funny one. So I was doing uni work and thought I'd take a break and queued up for what I thought was a normal game. How did... Okay. <laughs> and okay. I alt-tab back into the game as it starts and I see four D2 boards and a D1 board and I'm like, ah. I'm not ready for this at all. Um, but yeah, their top's also filled here, so I pass from bot to top. Uh, we win 2v2 top side, so that's kind of what I'm planning on playing around. Um, my bot lane's a pretty safe lane here, so I'm not planning on spending too much time down there, but the game is a bit of a cluster. I don't really know how I win. Um, yeah. See, you see, do you, Twitch chat, I'm going to interrupt you there. Twitch chat, do you see the difference? Immediately, he's looking at which lanes he wins 2v2 with the enemy jungler involved, which lanes he can gank, which lanes he can play around. That immediately, he's a bit low in your opinion. I mean, you get D2, but I'm just kidding, I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. I th if, he's, if he's too quiet now, you can love me. Full pre-game analysis, yeah, exactly. That's, yeah. that's, it's good, it's important. Um, so let's see. What, what would you say, I guess we're jumping into it, what would you say are your, um, your, I know you told me, but your core three champions that you like to play. Like, champions. So I, I if mean, you're gonna play I'm, session right now and I told you pick three and not, everything else is disabled, what do you pick? Well, it depends. If you're asking me for like a comp, I play comp team for my uni, so I can play pretty much anything, but my three, most, my three most comfortable now would be Lee Sin, Rek'Sai, and probably Kane, but I wouldn't want to play that because my win rate's garbage, so. Yeah, I mean, Kane, Kane is, is like that. Uh, you have those champions, right, that are OP, and then when they're OP, you can't play them. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, I I started playing the game in season eight, and I played, I think, like three hundred games of Kane or something. He's my most played champion by far. Uh, but, oh, really? And I, and I used him in my climb. I, I climbed all the way from low silver to D one last season off your vods, off more Korean stuff than I care to admit. I watched um, and five games. Yeah, and then <laughs> this season I literally just cannot even like I, I just can't. I, I don't know. No Kane. Yeah, I mean, I had, I had that, I think, season 8. I had, like, 65% mm. win rate. But my KDA was 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 dog shit. I, I, it was, like, 4-4-6, four, four, but for some strange... Like season 8 was obviously a different time. I would just end up winning by default. I have no idea how or why. And then I played that way in season 9, and then just was losing. It's like, okay, good KDAs, but just losing. Right. Mm. Let's get into the like game. So, we did blue side. Um... Now, uh, you've obviously looked at this, or you would, you would remember it decently well. Um, we have top prime moving in for the deep boards. Oh, I love this so much. Don't you love top laners that do this? I do. Uh, oh, I did tell her I was coming top level three for a gank. And oh, I know... they get excited, don't they? Yeah, so she just shoved her lane out and went in, so I went to help her. Um, I mean, her lane is, is neutral here, so... Yeah. He, he doesn't know where she is, but he's kind of playing a bit further back there. Yeah, um, he's, he's all, the NAR is auto-filled, that's why I'm looking at playing around there especially. Yeah, okay, good. So that's important, right? Who is auto-filled, right? Wait, why do you think about early game when you can alt tab and watch cat videos? That's not right. True. Uh, <laughs> true, true. <laughs> so, she's basically rotating down here for a level, early level two, but I feel like that's a little bit too Yeah, Morgana ambitious. walks up and makes it really obvious. And then yeah, yeah. Her, her laner behavior is, is just not good. Like, she uses W as well, which obviously yeah. she, gets, she gets a cooldown proc. But uh, she uses Q here. You know, yeah. so her Q's down. She didn't even think about the gank, and that's 10 seconds. So by the time you, by the time you even get here, it's it's, yeah, it's not in position, you know. Like now she needs to use. It. I mean, his wind wall's up anyway. It's the most ridiculous ability in the game. But yeah, no, this is. I don't think this was ever happening. But this this is interesting because he's he's done a full red side. Yeah, I thought he would. I mean, having played Echo, uh, I, me too, a lot. Uh, I would have said that he, and it's another reason I passed from or did did three point or four point the top lane. I thought that Echo would start red, take Q second, do Raptors, do Wolves, be at his blue. So in the time it takes him to clear his four, his four camps and the time it takes me to clear my four camps, I can be top lane yeah, um, for the and counter, gank. Ca counter the counter gank, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, so, exactly. Because uh, that's where he's pathing. And also my mid has black shield. So if Echo ganks mid, then it's pretty safe. Like she should just get out and she still has flash. So like 
I'm not really too concerned about that, and I win the 1v1 at the Crab, so it's a pretty safe pathing from me, as well as... Yeah, exactly, but I mean, this 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 guy's pathing is just so suboptimal, because... I don't know what he's doing. Well, I would never do this anyway. I think I think in season, you know, because obviously you're high as well, I mean, you know this. If you do full red side, I feel like you just give and you show on this Crab at 315. Mm. I, I mean, look at you, you're just like, okay, thanks for I can't everything. What I do here. See, well, let's, let's at, see, at this I mean, point, with. We're three minutes into the game and I'm like still yeah. not ready. Like I'm still got op.gg open trying to find out what I, oh, I can do that sort of stuff because obviously I didn't mean to play a ranked game. But yeah, I mean, I, I that's I, I actually as a principle now don't look because it would give me. I mean, it's good for climbing just to write this guy's filled. Let me play around him. You know, this guy's mm. a really bad echo. I can abuse him, but I feel like that puts me every game in a different mindset. Whereas whereas if I don't look, I treat literally everyone is if they're if they're on their main. And if they're actually um, tryharding, because it, it makes me more engaged. Does it make sense? Mm. Um, but I don't like this anyway, guys, if you're playing jungle, because the Lee Sin here could easily do buff Gromp red into level three. And the Echo could easily do an interior clear red Raptors Wolf's Gromp uh, um, blue. And then counter gank you or collapse and you get chunked. I feel like he's, I mean, I know you beat him 1v1, but I still feel like it's way too passive. Mm. Okay, let's switch it. You see him, obviously. You knee jerk. Oh, okay, so the, like right, right here, yeah. I think he's gonna, yeah, I think he's going on the mid lane. So I walk down. Uh, I spend so much time waffling around. That I don't. Actually yeah, get yeah. Any like this, really like so far, this is great, right? Because you expect him at this point to have done at least three. You should be on the blue right now. So I mean, you your probably think would be good. Ping it. Like I've literally just pinged it. If you look in chat, but yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, I see it on the map anyway. But the problem yeah, is, as it. soon as you see this, you know, I, I'm thinking, okay, I take everything because this. The Grump will be up at four, right? I mean, you've got 40 seconds before your Grump is counter jungleable, yeah. <laughs> if that's a word. And he, what's he going to do? I mean, she should be absolutely fine. And you know what? If she mm. uses Black Shield with his W, which is pretty easy, she doesn't have to flash. No. So, I mean, I feel like here you've got, as soon as you see that, I'm looking, I'm staring, I'm thinking this is blue. Deny part, this. Of the part of the reason as well that I don't, or I don't think I counter jungle here. I know I should. I don't think I do. I think it's because... You asked me for a replay, and I cannot tell you how many games I had to play to get a decent replay without a solo laner deciding they wanted to <laughs> run it down. Or I mean, I had a great game on Lee Sin before this, and the Callista just ran it down every lane from the second minute, and then that's all. So I'm not trusting my top my solo laners at yeah. all at the moment, and I think it's probably part of the reason I start playing really reactively. Yeah. So like here, I see Echo, so I should just go straight for his boost side. I know I should, I ping that I should, but I still go towards the mid lane because I'm scared that he's going to get a counter gank off. And even though I know my Morgana shouldn't die, I, I don't trust that she won't. Yeah, so I think that's, that's the whole thing. Um, trusting laners, I think it's good to never. It's only good to have, basically you go into every game and you, they have zero trust. And they own trust through their actions. Like Camille owned trust with this beautiful ward. Yeah. yeah. Um, my issue, my issue in in this so far, in this current, right in this point, ignoring everything else beforehand, is Yasuo is obviously going to have lane prior. Um, he does. Yeah. And this this sucks because he's almost he's like the the Talon who is in Talon but has similar kind of prior, right? He just he just doesn't wall hop into your jungle and kill your buffs, but he seems to always be able to skirt into deep you know wards by your Raptors. Woods by by your blue uh, pit here, and you sort of get shoved out of the mid lane area. For me, this is just so much. Like as you said, you were worried about the lane, mm -hmm. but I think that's you know what's amazing is you go watch when I'm scouting and I'm watching a Gurren and Yakus. It's just, there's literally none of this, huh? Like that's the difference between a, a D one and for me as well. When I'm playing badly, this is I do this also. I'm just like ah, react to jungle like you overreact everything. But the immediate, so the immediate hold up, this dude, and I guess this was the topic in the video tonight, right? Um, as soon as you see this, what can you do that you otherwise couldn't because he's down here? And for me, this is just blue at the very least. And potentially, if this is ungankable, if she goes back to base or she's like got this super shoved and he's full HP, I don't think you want to dive in now that would be close to, to Mega. Because uh, you just stun you, right. yeah, and flash. It'd be silly, but you could at least blue grump, and I feel like yeah. that kills him. That kills him. It does, yeah. Because he uh, can't take this. Pool. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. He's screwed. And even if he gets a flash off in the mid lane, so let's time it. Let's watch from his perspective now as well. It's like you could be doing blue. Like I know what you're worried about, but yeah, I think you know. The, there's a bit of read that you can take from this. Um, mm -hmm. 
in this situation from your early sort of probe gank. For me, it was this. And this is sort of the study, like while we're waffling here, oh, not waffling, this is direct perthing, right? Um, yeah. While we do this, I think watching her body language is very important. Because when I played mid, um, I, every season I, when I was not doing content creation, I'd like to sort of try get diamond in different roles. Because um, that that's all I really wanted. And I would do Zyra, but it's the same way. You, this guy just shoves you, and as soon as you push up too far, he kills you. So obviously Morgana's more independent in that sense, but just look at her behavior here. For me, this tells me she's a safe laner. Like she is playing Morgana because she's not looking to be flashy. She's looking to be safe and intelligent. Well, let's hope so. But it shows me that this is not a lane I have to be too concerned about. You yeah, know? I think like, I remember doing this and as I'm walking past my Raptors, like obviously I'm F keying to my lanes and stuff like that. I'm watching, I'm predominantly watching Camille here because I'm expecting the Echo to show on the Wolves. Yeah. So I'm worried that she's going to get, you know, WQE'd out of a bush and have to burn her flash. We're going to need help because the Asu will then have house lane prior to then roam. But obviously Echo's not even there. So. I well, I mean, what, what we both missed is he actually, he got this he killer. Yeah, he got that killer. He, he, he got the bot lane. He yep. got both flashes. Yep. Uh, unfortunately. Well, I, I, Ezreal still has his, so that's unfortunate, but he was never getting out. I mean, so in that sense, it's fine, but again, it's sort of counterintuitive, isn't it? Red, Raptors, Krugs, and you go down. Like, if you're going to do that, you could do the Red, Raptors, Krugs, and I don't know. I'm, I'm just thinking time efficiency. Anyway, yeah. for you, in your control, all of this, at least blue buff. Once you've done blue buff, you know he's doing the crab, but I think based upon the information you had, you need to infer a bit more. Um, once you see this, like you see this from your point of, point of view, yeah. So you can see exactly the crab here. Like, there's, there's no threat of him ganking at this point in time. Because he hasn't no. even finished this. No. You know? But that's that's F key. And yeah. I feel like going the gank... This gank, I feel, is not... Hey, look at the beautiful lane state this is, and let's go get a nice gank. It's sort of... I should have taken blue. Now I need to do something because he's bottom it side. Is, yeah, it's me making up for it. That's <laughs> yeah, what you're trying to over overcorrect. I mean, we get his flash, right? I mean, it's yeah. fine. And now the problem is he does gank mid, as I said. And look, as, as predicted, she doesn't flash, she lives, she hits a binding. Reliable, safe, don't have to worry about her. She can farm with W on a turret, there's no issue. But now, you're being shoved up, big time. Yeah. And now you have to now disengage I've, this. Because they've both... lost all opportunity to counter yeah. jungle went to yeah. the crab, so... The goon squad has arrived. Yeah. And then she gets a solo kill, and on one hand, as a jungler, you're always thinking, well, this is absolutely fantastic. On the other hand, it's like, well, my gold. <laughs> Close your eyes, Twitch chat. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. It's bad. Yeah, oh no, okay, this isn't it. There's more. There's more. There's more. Oh, that is the worst thing that can happen. Well, <laughs> there's, there's two kinds uh, of Yasuas, and you've got the worst one against you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, there, yeah, I feel you. No, I, I understand. But it, you know what, for me, is, is very, very important, is... Obviously, you didn't anticipate this being a rank game, and, and you were D1, so, I mean, this is... For me, this is probably an exception to the rule. It's just such an important differing factor in, in each elo. Like, for me, you know, D4 is its own entity, right? It's better than P1, but it's an, it's an own entity. We diamond 3 that. and above is real diamond, but then there's just such a difference between D3, D2, and D1, you know? Uh, D2 and D1 are much closer than, than they are to D3, but it's just the differences in in game style and sort of punishments for not taking something that's provided to you is so extreme. Like, you you don't take this or the crab. Oh, uh, yeah. And I lose a lot here. You, you just lose, you lose everything almost, don't you? Yeah. From an early game jungler perspective, this is just hell. Yeah. This is hell on earth. This okay. is indecisiveness at its finest. Yeah, exactly. But it's not even that bad. It's just sort of trying to overprotect your laners instead of letting them, trusting them to do what they need to do. You have yeah. smite up, you do. I do have smart to. You know what's cheeky? Oh. I mean, at this point, you're in a sandwich. You're being I forked. It's not pleasurable. Um, could we cheekily take his blue and go back in his jungle? Here? Probably could do. Um, which just to get not. something out of it? I mean, I know, we look, I know you're looking at this. Hmm. But I'm just, I'm just thinking, I mean, it's it's sort of benefit of hindsight, obviously. In the moment, I don't do it either. For all I know, Yasuo is cheater recalled here on his um, on his third wave. Oh, and no. Echo is, back, Echo is backing in the top bush because he's taken bot crab and expects me to have taken his jungle, so... Uh, I mean, I, 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 I honestly think, like, in my mind, there's, 
it's it's very very obvious. Like for me, you just watch on the minimap the language. You don't even have to watch anything else. Mm. No, I, I completely agree. But at this like time, you, you see scared. them both rotate up. You can see their body language is up on the yeah. map. They physically move there, so it tells you everything you need to. I think your mistake also, not not we didn't mention, was you you move down. You mm. see that? Yeah. Like you here, you're fine. You would have gotten out. Yeah. But we moved down. Mm. I think... Did, see? This is why we're called Crab Hunters. Yep. Twitch chat. We can't <laughs> help ourselves. High elo is all, it's all about, like, Diamond Plus is all about getting the crab. Okay. So this is sadness. We've overanalyzed everything, but I think... That's where game leads really are won in the CLO. What do you want to do now? To explain, explain what's... I mean, obviously, hindsight, but... So what would you tell yourself to do now, if you were sort of coaching so, yourself? Right here, I'm looking to get my bot side camps off the map again. Okay. Uh, they're the highest experience yep. at the moment, so yep. that's going to kind of help me catch up to the Echo, who's still got his level 1 on his top side. Uh, yep. Also, Dragon spawning, and there's nothing, no reason for me to be playing around top side now. Um, she nope. just got her solo kill, she has died for it, but their lane state's still even. Neither of them have flash. And her weight, and I think Camille catches the wave here, so yeah. Yeah, so I'm feeling pretty confident with my top side, I don't need to be there at the moment, uh, and... Yeah, so I want to sit around bot side here. I think. So, two things. Um, bot lane Y. Bot lane Y. Uh, where do we think Echo is currently? Did he fall back to his blue, or did he recall first and is doing the same thing as you, getting tier two camps? What do you I think, think he's doing? I'm not really sure. I mean, it could be he could do either. He's if it he were me, I'd have, if it were me, I would have taken crab and then fall back to my blue side, taken my blue side and gone to my red side. Yeah. Except Which he is, he didn't even do yeah. that. He just recalled in the moment and he's gone top side. So I don't know if I agree with that move because I feel like did he even take top crab? Oh, he died. No. He kicked W for stupid. He died. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, he 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 could do. Um, yeah, he should he should path up. Oh, so in that, in that sense, you have free pressure on the bottom side. Yeah. But unfortunately, top diff. Okay. Hmm. Ezreal has flash. Uh, uh, this Nar is a very questionable character. Yes, he is. Okay, so... Okay, we, we rotate immediately. That's good. Twitch chat, you see that? He left his wolves immediately, and all of a sudden, Lee Sin appears, and it burns the center flash. It sucks sometimes because you just want to catch your tier two camps, but it's the right move. It's the right move. Um, yeah, it, I, it is frustrating though. When I do a little, when I do, I, I do a little bit of coaching as well, just friends and sort of stuff like that. But yeah. in in this situation, like your your wolves are going to be there when you get back. Yeah, exactly. They're not going anywhere. They don't run no. away. So it's not. It's really not a big deal. No, it's the not. The flash is down for five minutes. And the yeah, wolves exactly. Are gonna be there. So. The the biggest issue is when people do this and they say it doesn't work. It's because they don't abuse the fact that the flash is down. They they they. They burn the flash and then they don't get a kill and they think, hey, Wolves and Grump, now it's delayed, my experience is delayed, but then they don't abuse the, um, they don't abuse the fact that the flash is down. And then it's basically just lost time. Because that's the one advantage you had in that situation was that you burn flash. Okay, so Echo, level 5, because you did blue side into top scuttle. She hits a max range Q. And now we've told them where we're going. Yeah, I can't remember what... I can't. Watching mm. this back in the yard, I cannot remember what I'm doing. Because I, I should have just taken the dragon as soon as I saw Echo in the top lane. And again, I didn't. Yeah, he was. And then I just walk around and do nothing for a bit and we get caught. Yeah. But I need it, to cut off Camille. It's, it, it's, it seems like you're sort of thinking about... It's, you're, you're coaching yourself in the moment. Okay, so in this point, I have options for three different outcomes. And you're sort of thinking about which one you should do. And then because of that, you have decision paralysis. Pretty much. Because, um, I mean, I mean, that's fine. But I don't think I go in front to Raptor Camp. Because now you're immediately telling them, Lee Sin's gone here. Yeah, I completely agree. I didn't think like about I would that. just go back into the shadow. And now, now, for all they know, you could go this way, or you could go this way. Um, they should, by extension, know. If he was tracking your CS from your death to now, he would know you did um, these two again. But I don't know if he's that aware of the situation. Like, the, uh, this is too telegraphed. Th this kills Morgana. <laughs> this person yeah. kills her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she just dies. But then we do get cleanup, which is nice. 
Mechonics. Okay. Ooh. But again, again, we go up. So now we know that Echo is going to be heading down to the bottom side. So in this in this situation, you should see your bottom lane. Are we pinging this? I think. <laughs> Do you ping? Uh, I, I think I I think I typed Echo bot spam typed Echo bot. Mm. I can't remember. They definitely know though. I think I think I think you got I think I think you got a. I'm chatting too. I think you have a game-winning moment here. I think you have a game-winning moment here. What do you think? It's easy, obviously, again, hindsight, but... Just like you told blue team, I'm going topside, right? Yeah. From your perspective... Okay. Echo does, Echo does the same thing on the bot lane. Yes. Yeah. We see him going down. So what we can do is we can say, well, hold up. Quickly, look at bottom lane, which we should, because as soon as you see this cluster on your, on your mini-map, you immediately <laughs> should be looking. Um, yeah. And we know Senna's flash was just burned. And we know that Misfortune's flash was just burned. All of this TP gank here. So for me, I mean, instead of doing Raptors, if we just literally, directly, don't care about vision, full on path down, Echo wouldn't see you, because they did, he didn't see where you went afterwards. So you would actually be perfectly safe. And now you got a 3v2. Hmm. And yeah, he's full HP, but all you're trying to do is disengage. All you're trying to do is not let him get kills. Yeah. And then you then your second then what you can do is once you've done that, um Once you've done that, you've got a slow push here, so we could easily push this out with our team. And then we can fall back to blue, which gives us close to six. Yep. I feel like I feel like <sighs> It's tough to say, but I feel like that was probably a better read than tier one raptors. No, I completely, I completely agree. Yeah, completely agree. good. But now, now you, now you're forced, right? You're forced into action here because you've got this dude now level six, one, one, three, and to his credit, it was a good level three opportunistic gank. It was a good transition into the crab, and it was a good transition into mid lane. The only thing is, he should have been punished in some degree by losing all of this. Um. And then he's not even close to six right now, whereas you would be. Hmm. And now we feel forced to go to top lane again, but he's mega now. He'll sidestep. Yeah. He's mega. As soon as you go in, he stuns you anyway. Mm. And now you know his blue camp should be down. So this is this is just a waste. I think yeah, I... Ah, uh, you okay. I, I get his Gromp here. You yeah. get his Gromp, okay. I, I know it's coming up soon, but like... I we didn't know, we did, yeah, we didn't know exactly. But his, wolf, his wolves are up as well. So if we're yeah. gonna counter jungle, we should... I feel like you could hit the plant. Yeah, I could have done. Just because to maximize. So let's see, we didn't have his exact Gromp timer, but if you hit this plant and you see this, then these are tier 1, right? I mean, these are tier 1, so... Actuality, do we want to even take them? What do you think? No. Probably not, no, right? we want to leave them. Because <laughs> yeah. Twitch chat, Twitch chat, remember. Um, we don't talk about it a lot, but you'll see there's a, there's a window for counter jungling. So taking these at level 3 and leaving the baby is good because it forces Echo to clear it and delays the level 4, level 5 camp spawn. But because he's left it on the map so long, we don't want to give him, right, uh, a refresh, what it would be like level 7 uh, uh, raptor camps when it respawns. Okay. So right now when he takes this, he's getting baby experience points. So we want to hurt him. On the other hand, he's currently on his... You know, level four Krugs, so... For you, and it wouldn't even get you. Would it get you close? Wouldn't get you close uh, to six. Exactly. No, it wouldn't, because it's tier no, one. It wouldn't. No, it would No, just pressure top again here. Oh, we're giving up so much by showing. Yeah. And, and, and... <laughs> Look at this. And. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the problem, right? This is what I'm saying. So, I mean, we have two... This is the problem with Lee Sin. How do you manage it? What, what tips would you give people that are not D2? Um, in terms of vision control with Lee Sin, because now obviously in this case I'm telling people leave your vision in these bushes, leave a control ward here, because this guy has prio, you have nothing, you're dark, you're literally dark, but you need your ward hops. So okay. what advice would you give um, Lee Sin players in terms of managing vision, or even to yourself in this case? Well, the, the thing with Lee is, as you said, you need your uh, wards for your ward hops, so it's actually like essential. That you buy pinks you have it need to have as the most pinks in the game like there is no way and and it does make you suffer at some points um but it's just you gotta take it on the chin because if you vision is so huge in this game and yeah, yeah. you can really really abuse 
uh, your areas of vision with pink wards and stuff like that. But if you, uh, sorry, vision that you would otherwise have using a normal ward, but because you're playing a champion which requires that as one of his core mobility spells, you, you're not given that option. So you just kind of have to take it on the chin that you're going to be spending that 75 gold five, six, seven times a game without doubt. Um, but it's, also, it. it's just your jungle, your jungle tracking as well. You need to be making sure you're um, counting CS when they show because that therefore you might not need to put a ward or be, make sure you're communicating with your team because therefore you might not need to ward his top side if that you know he just cleared it and now he's bot side. That's that sort of thing. So it's just kind of being smart with where you put them. Don't waste them um, and buy pinks. Exactly. Um, and good advice in general. Twitch chat. Get good? No, that's, that's not the advice. <laughs> Um, the problem for me is is twofold. Um, let's see if I can rewind my brain here. We 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 died top lane from Pepe hands. We respawned. We knew the Echo was gonna go top side to take his blue and Grump and Crab at the very least. That's what he was going to do. Um, we went to our wolves. There was a TP from the Nar who flanked. You immediately had to say, ah, this sucks, but I rotate immediately. We burned two flashes, right? Um, from there you do your Grump, and then you try and counter gank on the mid lane with your Camille. So since your death. You have done tier 2 Wolves, tier 2 Gromp, a tier 1 Raptor Camp, and a tier 1 Krog Camp. And you did get the benefit of his Gromp, but it feels like we've had, we've had what? You died at 4 minutes. So if you had 4.5 minutes, you've gained 5 camps. And as such, that goes 10 CS ahead in level 7. And the Flash. And the Flash. And, and, for, it, yeah. and, and for me, the thing is, it wasn't necessarily that it was only five camps, it's that it was, there were crappy camps. Like, if you took his camps, then it's great, you know what I mean? Because... Yeah, I mean, it's not even the... I don't even think it's so bad that they were crappy camps. It's that there were better choices on yeah. both occasions yeah, 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 where yeah, I was yeah. taking crappy camps. It's... But but also, also if you're trying to get level six, which you are, then, yeah. then, then the, the fact that they're crappy camps just kind of hurt a little bit. Yeah, of course, yeah, of course it is. And now, Morgana does a nice proactive roam here on the bottom side. She does. Um, so, she essentially rewards the fact that you had some shadow gank. So you hurt yourself by shadowing her lane a little bit, but at the same time, it prevented her from dying. It gave her a little bit of a, a period and a window to roam, and she took it, which is nice. But this guy's level 6 at this point. Sorak is coming yeah. down. We're holding mid. This is fine. At this point, it doesn't matter that he knows where we are because the Echo died, so... We're just trying to... This is this is juicy. You just gotta absorb this. Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, don't worry. Don't worry. She doesn't just take that. Wait, wait. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a perfect emote. <laughs> Yasuo thinks. He has a key to his own death, that's for sure. This guy has like... Perfect he eat. Yeah, yeah, but he eat right? And I was, I'm thinking, like, you must R me. If you don't R here, then I'm gonna let Twitch chat roast you. This is perfect. Yeah, perfect. I'm sure you were sort of a bit surprised, right? That he actually took it. I was actually yeah. gonna in, I was actually gonna ward hop and kick him into tower into the oh, okay. island. And okay. I just didn't need to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good. He just okay, killed himself. So... This is this is important here. Um, I feel uh, like this is dragon. too. Yeah, this is too safe. You, I don't think you're gonna afford to farm your jungle, unless you want to, you know, go tier mat harvest Lee Sin like I the old days. I, I don't go harvest, but sometimes we um, <laughs> <laughs> Old school harvest, it's season eight. Oh, oh no, wait, season six, right? No, season eight. Season eight. You do yeah, season, season eight. Season eight. Yeah, 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 that's it. Camps. Yeah. You get it at ten minutes and just one shot one after the other. That's it. Okay, so we get it anyway. Okay. I okay. take it anyway. Well, yeah, I don't yeah. Know. It's it's more about the direct prior thing. It's more about uh, the mindset of immediately hit the plant, scout, and take. Because mm. at that point, I'm I'm cur I'm curious as to see where Echo goes. Now, obviously, his blues up, and we know this. Yeah. Um. So he, in theory, he should be on that top side. But as soon as he sees you, he's he's on the herald immediately. Yeah. So for, from from his perspective, that's great. And referencing the video again today, guys. Look at this. Did Echo do his jungle? No. He sees this. He says, I must immediately take the Herald. Out of most objectives, secure it. These will all be up. Just like Tom was saying with, it, with, with Lee Sin as well. Let me rotate here because these will be up afterwards. It's the right mindset. Because now if he didn't do the Herald, basically what, what Lee Sin could do is just rotate over. I think you've just been told that the, that the um, Herald was taken. Yes. Um, in, sh in, in the game. So I feel like... I feel like I could be looking here. I could be looking mm. for a bot dive. Mm. Or a mid dive. Actually, no. He calls it straight in on the mid lane. He calls it straight on the mid lane. But when he does, you've got that vision here. So I think you basically say, okay, 
I optimize some experience because I have to because it's, you know, sad times, it's dry times. I, I mean, I don't think you hold this at all because you call it right on the tower, so this is just going to be instantly stonked. Yeah. But I'm thinking lane gank, counter gank on the echo. Problem is you have a lot of gold. Mm. I can't remember what I do. Well, let's find out. Ah, perfect. So, what this is, guys, is, is you're shadowing, looking for the lane gank, but your bottle main also recalls, which makes you very happy at this point, because you know Echo's heading down, right? So you know he's on these Krugs, because we saw him head down from this vision, and that means if he does lane gank here, you'll be in position, but you don't want to, because you have so much gold. You know, this warrior and one buy, plus, plus, plus another extra long sword, so... Okay, good. What's your what's your game plan now? He's taking... Uh, I'm trying to think of what it was. Because I mean, obviously, if I look at the replay, I know what camps he's got up. So I go, oh yeah, and Vader's top side. But well, I he's. he's I mean, he, he was just on. He was just on Crux. He was just on Crux. Although he also then took the Herald. Oh, we now we see him on Crux. Okay. He took um, his his thing for me. The the tells that you have, the tells that you have, the information that we don't sort of take is this. Um, Yasuo would just entered, right? Yep. Now I and I'm immediately thinking crab and dragon. Immediately, like no hesitation. Um, yep. He's gone top side. Okay. Um, and because you took the Gromp, he doesn't get it. So he <laughs> feels a bit... St uh, that's good. You know, that's, that was fortuitous. I mean, we, we were... I don't think you timed it like that, but it was good you arrived when you did. So because they know you headed down, given the shadows of, of your existence and the fact that bot lane's missing, I think they assume you're on the dragon. Um, he waffles a little bit here, but the tells we have from your perspective are the following. Reb, blue buff spawning. And the fact that he doesn't have anything here. Let's just watch. Let's see. He goes down. You do the dragon. You go back into your jungle. You should take his raptors. He takes this. And, and his blue buffs just spawned at the same time. And because he immediately goes over this ward here, we see it. No blue buff. You, you would know exactly where he was even if you didn't see it. I mean, mm. this is a subtle thing, and he goes straight down. So you know this spawned, and he went top, herald, mid, down. Yeah, so, so I he, should be going up to get his Yeah, blue. yeah, exactly. So you yeah. know exactly what camps are up, just by extension. Yeah. But that's... I, must, I think I must have missed him walking over that uh, pixel brush ward. Because, mm. I, I mean, you are just farming at the time as well. Oh, little... Yeah, I, 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 I think I was top lane, so having a bit of a fight, but uh, I mean, I can't come. She, she, she keeps dying solo. She does. Now, what's your point of view on... Oh, she teepees as well. What's your point of view on, um, I don't always like doing this. I, I know you're meant to, but I, I, I value ever so highly my, um, me not existing. I like them not knowing where I am. Okay. Because now she burns TP and you're here. I mean, she didn't have to TP to this. You could have held oh, no. this, but she wants a cannon wave. Hmm. Did we get anything? Okay, good. Yeah, we, we do, we do, we do. Okay. Okay, that's fine then. I mean, all's well that ends well, but... Okay, okay. That's fine. But now we, we have to give up top camps. But we know he's most likely there. Because of the extension of going down to Krug, so he's definitely sequencing up, but he definitely didn't take his blue. So I feel like instead of going to our Krugs here... You feel like you can beat him? At what point do you feel like you can't beat Echo? As uh, they said. I feel pretty confident. As long as I build right and have like... If I, as long as I have tenacity runes, uh, and like a hex trinker, a couple of like decent items, and like I've built well, yeah, for the one v one, I feel like it's mechanically I can win it until probably about level nine, level ten. As soon as this kind of gets its Q max, it's kind of a bit gets a bit dodgy from then on. Yeah, um, and once he gets a few more items, and yeah, he scales is, He scales really hard off items as well. But she overstays, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go and help you again. And yeah. I die, die, just. Oh, I don't know. oh that is. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> you die, die. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just... I hate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, think her back. It's again. But... It's again mindset, though. Like, instead of going straight to Crab and Dragon and hit a Winter Wolf, and yeah, you got it. But your first inclination after an event was my wolves. Your first in inclination after this event is my Krugs. I feel like it's too... It's, it's too um, P 
playing That's not it. to lose. You know what I mean? Because you have to consider what does Echo want to do? Like right now, you know 100% that that guy took Herald, didn't have his blue buff, which spawned at the same time, went down, and you did see him here because you lane ganked or shadowed the lane gank. And then everyone went back to base. That means the Echo most likely is definitely going to sequence up. So you have to know, you have to know, I think, at this point that he's in this blue side jungle. I know he's in this blue side. I ping Camille back after the kill. She ah, pushes away and saves okay, another so, one. I ping uh, her back when she's yeah, dead. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I mean, she just died and she just got back to, and there's a cannon wave. There's no way she wants to go back right now. She's got 300 gold. I mean, for her, going back is out of the question from the laney perspective. If she goes back now, she's, she's shooting herself in the leg. Mm. I mean, if we look at this, he even recalled. <laughs> he even recalled. So again, if we go down now, and again, yeah. aggression, right? Um, uh, Lee Sin, I can beat Echo level one. I've got my tenacity. Is I feel confident. I like that. That's good. And that's the thing, you know. I like. That's why I like playing volley now because I can actually go do stuff. When I'm Zyra, I'm always like, okay, bye. Uh, you're playing I how I would play Zyra. That's um. I don't win if I don't have O up, and at the moment I don't have O up, so I'm not planning on fighting him. Well, we can probe though. No. Oh, we can definitely probe. Yeah, I don't disagree with that at all. Like I'm not necessarily go fight because I'm 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 the epitome of. Probing and information over fighting. I, I, with the jungles I play, I cannot afford to just walk in here and be like, "Hello, I take." You know, I, I, I would die. But I feel like you're not lose. You're, you're playing a bit. Like I, as Zyra would not. Okay, yes, I want to counter gank. I never want to go and be aggressive. I feel like you could still probe though. You got a ward hop up. You didn't buy control ward again. I think I was on exact on, on exact gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's rough. How, how, what's the maximum you'll wait? Uh, probably like 25. Yeah, same. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I think I, I think I probe. I don't. Maybe it's my champion pool that allows me to do that when it's a bit tankier. Like I can always disengage a situation and get out. But I feel like you should be able to with Leeson also. And she. Also like, sorry, yeah. she, she has shown herself to roam a lot. I mean, three or four times she's just rotated down on the river for mid lane ganks to the point that this dude is paranoid with two two control wards. Look at that. They're paranoid about the Camille rotating as well as you. Um, so I feel like even if you did run into Echo here, he doesn't expect it, so he won't have W ready, so you can always just walk away and W onto the, onto the, um... The, the thing is, like, I'm thinking, if yeah. I ward hop out, his E follows me. So... I don't think you'd be, you don't... <clears throat> okay, don't okay, well then let's take that extension, right? I'm a, I'm a little afraid I don't have ult, I don't want to. Then I don't think, once you've done this, I think I shadow the Krugs this way. If your mind is where you say it is, which it is now, maybe in game it wasn't, um, I shadow the Krugs this way, I pull them this way, so I can counter gank this because we know this guy must be blue side. There's yeah. no reason to be anywhere else. There's no dragon, there's no camps up. He hasn't shown for a few minutes. This must be his play. So I feel like you should be shadowing this a bit oh, sooner. I, yeah, okay. I agree. And I definitely should be kiting my camps towards it anyway. Yeah, exactly. Because, like, yeah, we, we, just, we just kept it in the pit like soup and then we looped on up. Um, but I feel like if we're here earlier, all we're doing is disengaging. You're right, we're not fighting this. We don't have ult. And Yasuo is missing in my top side. Yeah, he was up and, and Senna. Senna was up as well, so... Maybe, maybe, maybe taking the cue. Maybe actually taking this fight was probably bad. Yeah. We probably should have just pulled out, right? Yeah, I thought we did more damage than that. <laughs> that's, that ain't, ain't, that, ain't that the truth about life, as <laughs> John's a juggler? I thought but, I did more damage, but I died but because I, Senna... I, mean, I, get flashed, I get flashed on. So yeah, I mean, not... you, you, were, you were gonna die anyway, I think. Yeah. Uh, they, were, they were gonna always commit everything. Okay. Yeah, this, it's, it's just body language for me. It's, it's, it's the, the language of your, your pathing showing what you were thinking in the moment, rather than what you're coaching yourself to do in the moment. If that makes sense. Like, I still think I probed this. And maybe I kill this with this plant. Like I just get out that way, hit the plant like twice. We could have actually done it. And all you would have done is is stifled this and shown him that you knew where you were, where, that you knew where he was. And um, the center showing is obviously unfortunate. So your bot lane should two v one. Well, I mean, or they could do that. ADC season ten. <laughs> this guy's six and two, or was six and one? Let's just keep that in uh, for that perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing fine. <sighs> He's doing fine. Is it good that he got tabby boots before phage? Um, yeah, because it literally will keep him alive. 
uh, there's there's no. I mean, what what? Why would he go phage? Um, at this point, he needs movement speed as well because the map is already opening and up. Like mid lane tower's gone, and what people do at this point is the game state's elevated, right? So from the red team's perspective, they've got the suction. And as soon as you push too far up mid lane without vision, you're probably dead. So I think I think getting Tabby to survive the power spike of, um, the, I mean, it also affects Echo, right? I mean, of everyone on their team is better than having a little mm. bit of stickability, right? Yeah. And also, he'd be slower. You don't want to be slow right now. Things are about to elevate big time. I was going to say, I, when most of the time playing is Lee, you take the cooldown and boots on your secondary tree for your runes, so you have to wait long enough to actually be able to move around the map anyway. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So it actually gets kind of frustrating if you're like, oh, it's so much well, yeah, I don't. Then... Yeah, I, I don't like that about booties, but at the same time, it's more movement speed and it's free when you get them, but it's just mm -hmm. the delay set. I mean, uh, you're mobile anyway. Inspir inspiration secondary also gives you the opportunity to go, so I probably should have gone stopwatch here. If I'd have, if I'd known it was a ranked game, I would have gone um, commencing stopwatch instead of boots here because I'm going to build the stopwatch into a GA at some point. Yeah, probably. exactly. So that's more worth me. And so. yeah, your CDs are decently low. Right. Um, Morgana is top lane. It's not what you want. Um, Camille is mid lane. It's not what we kind of need the Morgana's team fight into the fact that she's level 11. <sighs> Give it. Give it. I don't think you fight this in any universe. I, I wrote give in the chat. And <laughs> <laughs> everyone was like, nah, we go. And I was like, oh, come on. I mean... The problem is, you lose the fight. We get the kill out. Oh no, we don't even get a kill out of it. Oh, I, this, no. this tilted me off the face. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. You just give it. No, we just give it. I mean, Morgana's top lane, she had TP, but she obviously had no interest in fighting. No, because I said give it. Morgana was listening to me, which was quite nice, but everyone else was like, oh yeah, yeah it's she's fine. Not, yeah. That's a general thing, Twitch chat. Just give, just give. Always. Especially the early dragons. The dragons in season 10, there's a pretty big... Um, there's like a 50-50 split of players that think they're really, really good. Yeah. And players that think it's yeah. really not worth it unless you have two or more of the same one. So some junglers will just give up the first two dragons because it's like... I think Mountain Dragon gives you like six, six MR or something, which is like next to nothing. But if you get three of them, it's ah. they stack on top of well, each other. So then it's something to worry about. That, that's That's... The problem, right? Um, that's the problem. It's, it's, what I think what people are not rating in season 10 is the psychological impact of dragons. Mm. This pit is the pit of all of your season 10 Twitch chat is in this pit because <laughs> your bot lane thinks this is super OP and you must get the first one. You know that you can't fight the early game jungler and he's going to solo this. It's Warwick. He's going to solo it. You're playing Kratos or whatever the hell. You're not going to go walk in, right, when there's no lane prio and try and steal this away and die for it level one. This is stupid. That's the first dragon. What could we do instead? Or oh, we could farm our four camps, take his blue side, take Herald. There's a whole bunch of things you could do on the other side of the dragon. The problem is, I think half the playbase, as you said, need four dragons. And as soon as you give away one, as soon as you give away two, they tilt. Like, mm. you give up two, they're, they're, they're tilted because, oh, great, Dragon Soul. So, you know we can still fight for the remaining four, right? I mean, this is uh, nowhere near Dragon Soul. And who, who, is it Sh Shylock just put in the chat that it's 6%? Yeah, it is 6%, but at the start of the game, say so first Dragon spawns at five minutes. Uh, I think Lee at level, or now, how much have I got now? 42? Uh, 42, yeah. 42, so 6% at 42 is... Come on, Asher, physicist. No, I'm not helping you. <laughs> <laughs> It's negligible when you've got one mountain go. dragon. It means it is nothing. Like it gives you nothing, but it's, people still want to fight over it, which doesn't really make much sense to me. So even though I type "give the dragon" there, because I know that actually you know, it means nothing. Then watch. Um, so you die, but you win the fight. Yeah, we win the fight. I flash off the echo, and then he disappeared into a. Bush. I think at this point you're just a bot. It just bamboozled me a bit, to be honest. But we take those. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I play tanks. If, if, if they've chased me down and, and I set, take someone out of the fight and I get two assists but we win it because of the actions, I'm happy. Yeah, I mean, I'm not too bothered that I flash there. It's just yeah, the fact yeah. that I flash and then I'm like, oh my god, where is he? <laughs> I think I think, I think think psychologically that's game for you guys. 
Yeah, no, we're pretty confident at this well, point. I mean, look, okay, we obviously for jungling, we're not too concerned about post eighteen twenty. But is there anything sort of? Um, I think most of the nitty gritty stuff is all pre eighteen. But mm, what, agreed. What would you say? Okay, let's 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 end the conversation with the discussion on atomization, because dynamic atomization is some of the most important things why people don't climb. Agreed. And in a game like this, the Lee Sin, right, guys. Did not have the best early game. However, his, his, you know, he was there. It's just the stutterings, literally, of decisions caused him to be in a position that he could not um, have a lead on the echo and abuse it. Because I feel like that's a big thing for you. If you had, if you were five and zero, oh, you know, top lane here, you get the game. You just go into his blue jungle. You don't, you don't care. Mm. Yeah, like, you know, you just got one shot. I don't need my ult. You know, this guy's umbral glaive at thirteen minutes. Yeah, yeah exactly. Umbral glaive. I just go kill you. Good night. But because of all the early game stuff, you were playing super cautious, um, and that's why Twitch chat, tabbies, randuins. What do we even end the game? I mean, you, you obviously you guys just win fights. It's not very interesting. Yeah, I literally um, just die for my team for the remainder of the game. Hex drinker just to help out. Um, Echo. Um, wait, why hex? I oh, for Echo. Yeah, I mean, if if Echo's targeting you a lot, then the then the hex drinker is very good. Um, it was that was more my process for the hex drinker was. If this game comes down to Dragon Soul or Baron, I don't want him to burst me out and then smite it off me. So no, yeah, I exactly. Yeah, I, did, exactly. I literally bought by Randuin for the slow and for the crit reduction for MF and Yasuo yeah. because Yasuo is pretty strong at this point because he's got like ten TS a minute. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the hex drink is literally just to stop Echo one shotting me. I'm not too concerned about if I die from now on. It's literally I want to yeah. get my ult off and I want to this you know keep Ezreal alive, get my ult off and be alive to smite stuff. That's it. So don't be a hero Twitch chat. It's absolutely you know, like. You can, you guys can meme the Tyler one Knights Vow builds or whatever, but uh, that's literally playing to your win condition. If you are not the carry, um, playing around what your role is in the game is so important. So I think the, the randomness here and the seeing the hex drink is is absolutely huge. And now you've got Camille somehow is just obviously yeah. dominating fights. So I literally go in here. Yeah, you're just you're engage. Yeah. You're engage yeah. and survive as long as I possible. I literally stand here so my team can hit the next. Yeah, group. yeah, exactly. I mean, even then you still die, you know? Yeah. But like, all of this stuff is, is just team fighting. But it's not it's not very interesting. But I think the early game was, because there's literally, what, one waffle at the blue buff and not capitalizing fully. Instead of going up and disengaging, you went down to get the crab again, because you didn't think fully that the Yasuo was with the Echo. And that killed you. And mm -hmm. then the next five preceding minutes, um, the Echo just basically doubled your experience and pressure. Right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Twitch chat, for the love. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But th that's the thing. You can always tell. Um... There you go. Boom. Quadra kill. Uh, and yeah. the second, the second, the second, mis not mistake, but sort of uh, give up was here when we didn't fully track the echoes extension, and then we didn't set up proper vision containment and counter ganking power thing with farming the Krugs. Like that, I think that's huge. I mean, in another game you lose because of it, right? Yeah. Another game you lose because of it. But otherwise, I mean, I mean, it's solid. It'd be nice to actually look at um, your thought process on a win or something that you did at some point, because sure. obviously you talk, you talk um, like a coach, like you actually think about the game a lot. Yeah. So having um. Having your perspective on a win of yours would actually be good as well at some point. Sure. You also asked me for a Lee Sin game after I'd been... I went on a massive loss streak with Lee and Kane. So dropped both champions and literally just one-tricked Rek'Sai with a Katarina one-trick mid laner. And then you're like, oh yeah, can you play some Lee Sin for me? So I had to pick that out, out of the dirt. Hey, you could have <laughs> picked anything. If you honestly didn't want to play Lee Sin, you could have said something. I didn't mind. I really enjoyed the champion. It's my favorite champion to play because okay. you get to okay. show off. So yeah, um, yeah, yeah. it's good, but... Yeah, <laughs> show anyway. off. <laughs> that didn't you work out too well. I had to, no, I had to pick it out. I'd have been, but oh well.